Hey, welcome to part three of our application where we are demonstrating how to save a JSON string into a database. So in previous videos, we've created some uh, work here with the DAO object or the data access object. So we created this save game item. Now I'm going to test it out and uh, see if it works. We have to first of all fix an error before we leave this DAO, which is the uh, load game. So we need to return something. So I'm just going to return true, even though we're not loading a game. But we'll come back to that and fix it maybe in a future video. But for now, we need to get a button to work to see if we can get this save game function to run. So to make save game work, we need both the button and we also need the method in our controller. Let's start with the button. So let's go into the views called uh, button and let's see what we can do there. So down here at the end, just before the uh, last part of the page, we're going to include a new form. So since we already have a form on this page, I'm going to copy the items from line 62 and paste it down here. Let's change this to a new method. So the only item in this form is going to be a single button. So we'll have it as a submit type and we'll give it a name called save game. And uh, let's uh, see what works. While we're here, let's also copy and paste this so we can have the load game. And we can make a few changes to it and we will have a load button ready to go. So let's run the application. And as soon as you see the uh, app on the screen, you see we have two buttons. We have a save game and load game. Now if I click one of these, we probably will get an error because it's saying that the requested URL is on save. We have not configured that in our controller yet, so we'll have to fix that now. So the controller is expecting an unsave event. Let's go look at the button controller. So we're in button controller now. Let's go ahead and uh, check out all the methods. So we have a constructor we can hide. We have index and we have the on button click and on right button click. So I'm just shrinking all of those so we don't have so much stuff on the screen. So the first thing we have to do is create a method. We'll make it public and type action result. We'll call it on save. We'll have to return something. So we'll return a view and we'll have to name this view something like results view. So since we're going to be saving a game, we need to invoke an instance of the database object. So we'll have games DAO as the type and we'll create a new instance of it. So in order to use the, the game DAO, we need to have a game object. So the game object, remember, has an ID number and it has this JSON string. So we're going to have to instantiate one. Now you notice that I have a red underline that says you need to put in two things here. So we need to put in an ID number. So let's just default it by one. And now we need the JSON string. So how do we get the JSON string? All we have is this thing called buttons. That's the, the state of our game. So I want to convert buttons into a serialized object. So in order to convert this list of buttons into a serialized string, we need a new dependency. So let's go to our solution, right click and go to our NuGet packages. So manage NuGet packages is what I'm looking for. Now I can choose installed or browse. The one that I'm looking for is this Newton Soft JSON. Now I don't know how that uh, NuGet managed to guess that I would want this next, but that's the first thing on the list. So let's just click install and see if it works. All right, so it looks like it's installed. So I'm going to close the package manager and come back into my code. So what I'm looking for now is something called JSON convert dot. And it still doesn't recognize that it's here, but I should be able to import something. Here it is. It recognized this as something from Newtonsoft JSON. So I'm going to select that. And now I have this class available to me. So what are the properties or methods? We have deserialized object as the first one. I think I probably want serialized object. So let's choose that. Now serialized object will take a thing, like a list of buttons, and we'll turn it into a JSON string. So we are passing in a string and an integer, which is exactly what a game object is supposed to have. 
Now we should be able to send this game object into our database access object or games DAO. So we'll use the save game method. Now remember that this method was defined to have a return value of true or false. So if it successfully inserts some data, we should get a true. Let's save that as a value called success. Now when I go to the results page, I should probably inform the user if it were successful or not. So I'm going to pass in a boolean. All right, so that's pretty much all we have to do to save something. But we should see the results on the next page. So we don't have a next page called results. Let's see if we can create one. So I'm going to right click and choose add view and just give it the name of results. Now we should see at the uh, new views area, we should see a results uh, view. And we have some starter code. Now since we're passing in a boolean, we need to tell it at the very first line of our view that that is the type of the model that's coming in. This is going to be a very simple view. All we're going to say is either success or failed. And so we'll check the model to see what its value is. And we'll use an if statement. So this is a really simple page, but let's see if we can make it work. Let's run the program. So let's get to the correct URL. So I'll put in button. And I've got our buttons up here. So let's try the save game. So I click here. It says it was successful. Well, isn't that interesting? So if I go back, let's change a few things. I'm going to change everything to red and then try to save it again. And it saved it again. Let's uh, see if it actually worked. So to test this out, I'm going into DBO games and let's choose view data. Right click and choose view data. And then I'm going to push the refresh button. And you can see that I've saved four different games now. So I clicked a few times before I tried this video to make sure it worked. And if I look at the last one here, everything should be false. So we got state is false, 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 false. That one seems to be the last one that I saved. So that seems to be working. So I would like to add a little bit more information to the success page or the results page. So I am going to put together a duo or a tuple. So a tuple is going to be a pair of boolean and string. And we'll call it the results tuple. So the boolean value is going to be the success variable, which is what we passed before. And then the second item in the list is going to be the list of all of the uh, JSON object. It's going to be the list of all the button states. So then when we go back into the results page, we should change the model from a boolean, a simple bool, to this uh, tuple format, which is already uh, defined in the previous uh, controller. And so this will then allow me to check to see if the results are successful and then I'm going to print item 2 which is the string. So that's what a tuple will do for us. We can put two items in one parameter. Now let's switch back into the button controller because when I return these results I should return the results tuple to go with it. So we've got ourselves something ready to go. Let's test it out again. Okay, so we've got some kind of a game state. Let's go ahead and push save. And we have a success. And now you can see that the second item in the tuple was the actual string that got saved to the database. So that's not really necessary, but it's a nice check to see if your uh, stringification or JSONification is working properly. So the next thing we have to do is to go the other direction. We have to deserialize an item and get it from the database. So that sounds like a good topic for the next video.